this is a very quick one today because at the very heart of everything lay a romance that was kind of rocky, but it is going to last. But there are so many challenges that you have right now. Not only are there relationship and personality issues, but there are also rifts in the family. Your children are such challenges, their personalities as they grow and develop. You have all kinds of household bills and major health issues. This seems like a family of three. And the reason I see that is because I see one, two, and then I have three over here. This one's kind of separated. I'm really thinking there may be a teen who has not really found their identity yet. So this is a very tough situation. If you were in front of me and I were looking at this, I would say you're going to have the whole rest of the year, it looks like. Look at this linear. It, it, these are events of problems and issues that happen. They were saying, keep on looking, keep on looking, keep on looking. And this feels like around September or so you're going to be okay. But for right now, we've got the end of May, June, July, August. Wow, it's going to be a tough summer. If you have three kids and they're at home with you during the summertime, then I would suggest that you keep them busy that you keep them away from media. Yep, I'm telling you, social media. What I would love to see with this family is that they go on a camping trip, go on a lot of hiking adventures, and really get back down to the basics. And you're going to have to detox these children, really, because they're so... Oh, my, uh, nomophobic, it's they they have such fear of staying away from their phone. They just can't take. It. This is not a good thing. Of course, it's really good to you know we need our phones and the internet in order to be able to make sure our lives are running smoothly. But there are a lot of kids who just don't even know how to be grounded and centered yet in life, and that's a real shame. So, please, if you can. Find a long weekend or a week or two weeks or a month, as long as you can, and go to a very beautiful, natural place with these kids. I'm going to tell you, one of my favorite places to go to detox is White Sands, New Mexico. And the reason I love it so much is because you go there and it, it, it's, it was created by all the minerals evaporating from this uh, Otero Lake. And the sand is so white, it's even whiter than the inside of the shell. You go there, and you, you sit in the middle of all this whiteness, and then look to the west. <laughs> look at there, there's where wisdom, you know, the, the meridian, meridian insight, that mermaid water magic comes from, and that's where the lake is, it's to the west. And you see the blue sky, and you'll see some white clouds, and they're just over those purpley blue mountains. You're sitting there, and it's white and shades of blue, and you can't help feel grounded. Seriously, I want you to take these kids out. If you have children, whether this reading was for you or not, please pay attention to your children. Thank you so much for watching today, and please do like and subscribe. I'm a new channel, and it would really help. I just want to be able to get this message out to everyone so that they can see just how positive the bone readings are. They're not scary. They're fun, and they're very artistic with such a visual medium. Thank you.